you guys already know this video is about my apartment. Oh, I say apartment, it's more of a room. So like, I think the three years at uni has literally prepared me for this because it's a bit of an upgrade on like a uni room where you just get like the toilet and the bedroom, like it's all one thing. I think they call it studio, but there's not actually a kitchen, there's just a sink. So I think because food here is so cheap, you can just eat out all the time. No one really cooks at home. So basically for starters, you don't need no keys. Everything is done either on your phone or just like a memorable digit. My front door is done on Bluetooth with my phone. So you literally click a button on an app that the lady downloaded for me uh, and it opens the front door. I'm actually on the second floor, which is technically the first. In England, you call it first floor. Here, they call it second floor. And obviously to use the code to go in that I personalise myself, which is, I think is pretty cool. To be honest, like no keys, you don't have to remember none of that. So like I said, it's basically like a, like a uni room. Uh, literally is like I've got a sink uh, washing machine which I'm renting off the apartment block pay 50 per month for the washing machine you can have unlimited access which I actually split with one of my friends who lives down the hall so it's like 25 each for the month um, which is honestly not too bad instead of like buying one outright um, then we obviously don't have to worry about selling it when we leave so over here I've got the wardrobe it's good enough to fit all my clothes in it, I guess. Like, it's just a, literally a simple wardrobe, nothing else to say about it. The desk and the chair were already here. The air conditioning was obviously already installed. Uh, other than the blue wall, I tried to go with like a grey theme, but it kind of like contradicts itself too much. Uh, with that light blue wall, it's a bit annoying, but you know, like, I don't really care. So I've ordered loads of things off Taobao. If you don't know what Taobao is, you need to download it. If you come to China, you can literally order anything you want. So I've got the rug and my washing basket from Taobao. So yeah, and then the bathroom is just like, it feels a bit like a port loo but like, yeah, it's got that vibe to it. It's a bit of a, um, it's one of the wet rooms one where it just sort of has like a, a drainage in the thing and everything like can go away if you have a shower, but it's not too bad if you put a mat just outside the door. Other than that, I think it's all right to be honest. I live on my own obviously. Um, and I think the apartment itself per month costs 2,800, I want to say and Wi-Fi on top of that is 114 a month uh, which I think was an installation cost of 300 114 a month is like 200 megabytes a second which is ridiculous you don't get that in the UK you get like at home and honestly like Sky in the UK I get like 30 megabytes at best okay so location was actually one of the things that I was most concerned about I, my school was in like the north of Shenzhen so I wanted to be central with my uh, accommodation even if it meant traveling further for school in the morning so my apartment is actually in i can't really pronounce it it's in shishia station uh which is in like the main it's like two stops down from coco park which is like where all the clubs and the bars are and things like that um really good location really central and the metro stop connects two lines which is good so you can go like to the main station is only about to like the one of the main metro stops is like three stops down I think so like it's really central easy to get around nowhere's too far and there's a lot around here I think I've pretty much covered everything just a short video so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time